Hey guys, today we are going to take a look at Android 5.0 Lollipop running on the Google Nexus 5. This specific build is the Android 5.0 LPX13D final developer preview. It's a finalized OS but not all the Google applications have been modified to view in the new style. Here you can see the Android version. If you tap on it, you have the new Easter egg. It grows and if you long tap on it, you have another part of the Easter egg which is kind of a game like flappy bird but with lollipops starting from the lock screen you can notice the new changes you have your carrier label on the top left your profile image on the right and you can see some new iconography for the Wi-Fi signal icons then you have your clock and notifications directly on your lock screen when you tap them it kind of pops up to indicate which notification you are tapping and if you double tap it takes you to the tab also when you tap a notification you see a slight ripple effect that's all a part of material design in the bottom you have three icons you, have, you can swipe up to unlock, swipe left to go to the phone and swipe right to go to the camera. You can also expand the notifications to view all of them fully and you can simply swipe up to unlock. Android Lollipop introduces Google's new material design user interface. You can see the elements of material design clearly. For example, the flatter looking navigation bar, the power control widget, the flat Google search bar, and when you pull down on the notification bar, you can see the layered elements. For example, it disappears one by one. You can see when I pull it down it appears layer by layer if you pull down again you reveal the quick settings there are some additions to the quick settings namely the flashlight toggle the cast screen toggle and a brightness slider also on the top you can see the battery percentage the settings icon and in the collapsed view you can see your normal status indicators You can also pull down the quick settings using a two finger gesture. There are also lots of changes with the animations of the UI for example when you open an application you can see the animations. Material design has a UI philosophy that nothing appears out of nowhere. For example when you press this button you can see the dialer slide up and the call button grow out of a small point. Also, material design apps use the translucent status bar for a more immersive experience. There are also lots of animation changes, for example, when entering the app drawer. You can see a slight fade in and grow out animation. And the apps are sorted page by page on a yellow white pane. The same animation can be seen for a folder. It grows out of a certain spot. Now let's take a look at some material designed applications, both from Google and one third party application. 
let's start with the contacts app you can see it has been given the translucent status bar and when you scroll in the top bar keeps locked to one place let's open a contact you can see it slides out and when you swipe it down it disappears you can also see the ripple effects moving on to the clock application here also you can see the typical material design UI changes also the background of the clock application it changes color depending on the time of the day it becomes a darker shade of blue during night then we have the Google Plus application here you can see a similar change in the UI you can see the pop-up menus in material design style the calculator app had been updated in the L developer preview and now it has a new icon but it's mostly the same you can see the layout of the application it has a layered interface just like the notification in which a panel slides above another one and then there's a third party app a file manager named cabinet beta which has been designed with the material design philosophies here also you can see a UI which is reminiscent of the stock Android applications with material design you have a layered slide out panel the translucent bars the pop out circles you can see the pop out menus and you can jump directly to several sections here the settings application has also undergone an overhaul with a white theme and layered sections you can see in between the section panels it looks as if the different sections are, are, are like a page on top of another page also you now have multiple users for phones too this feature was previously limited to tablets only under the battery section you can see the usage since last charge and you also get an approx time left if your usage continues in this pattern under here you can see a battery saver option which is a part of Google's project Volta Google claims that it can boost your battery by nearly 90 minutes of usage this feature underclocks your CPU and limits background applications for gaining a bit battery boost the Wi-Fi section seems pretty normal the Bluetooth section has gone a slight change in which you can see that the phone automatically becomes visible when the Bluetooth settings menu is open earlier you had to manually set it to be visible under security you have an option to pin your screen in that you can pin a certain application to the screen from the recent tab under the developer options there are some new options for example there is the logger buffer size which decides the size of the logs you will get and then there is a simulate color space option for people who have difficulty recognizing certain colors and there is an option of an experimental video player there is also an option to disable audio routing over USB docks Oops.
the rest of it is pretty simple coming to google now the interface is slightly redesigned for example multiple packages now show up under the same card and you have a slightly bigger bar on the top with a menu button on the side through which you can decide whether you want to get notifications for such stories and you can slide out to get to Google Now settings the UI has slightly been changed since the last version but it's nothing major now let's have a look at the in-call UI From left to right you can see the loudspeaker button, the microphone button, the dialer button, the button to put the call on hold and adding another call. In the bottom you can see the profile picture and the end call button. In Android 5.0 there is also a new do not disturb mode which you can see in action here you can just press the volume button and here you can see which calls and messages you want to get to you can set it to priority or none you can also set the time say for one hour two hours and so on you can control what gets in the priority notifications and what does not inside the sound and notifications menu and interruptions you can see I have it is set priority contacts only calls and messages let's have a look at the new recents panel you can see it's a carousel of apps you can simply switch to an app by tapping on its page and you can close an app by swiping it away let's have a look at the camera interface the basic interface looks similar to the one in 4.4 but there are a few changes in the application for example the color tints in the icons are slightly different the animation when switching flash on and off is different it slides in also the shutter animation is different you can see a simple ripple effect and then the pic gets taken regarding the performance and overall fluidity of this OS you can see it's very smooth and responsive opening applications is instant it's much faster than 4.4 and switching between running applications is very swift too the new OS does not perform as well in benchmarks as there have been underlying changes to the runtime from the switch to Dalvik to Art and few other changes but it will get sorted out after updates to the benchmark applications the OS is also very well optimized you can see I still have 1.2 GB of RAM free while I have many running applications the new Android runtime which uses ahead of time compilation it really helps in RAM usage and performance while opening applications as the applications don't have to be compiled at runtime anymore well guys that was all for the review of Android 5.0 please like comment share and subscribe to my channel for more such videos.